foods for your gut-brain axis. In case you haven't heard, we now know that feeding our gut microbiome, that's your healthy gut bacteria, is one of the most important things you can do to lower inflammation and improve overall health. Meet Dr. William Lee, a distinguished physician, scientist, and internationally recognized expert in food as medicine. As the respected author of the New York Times best-selling book, Eat to Beat Disease, Dr. Lee has garnered global acclaim for his innovative approach to healthcare. He pioneered research that has contributed to developing over 30 new medical treatments, significantly impacting the management of more than 70 diseases, such as diabetes, blindness, heart disease, and obesity. In this video, Dr. Lee will expose the top five healthiest vegetables to kill cancer and reduce inflammation. With the right mix of veggies on your plate, you'll discover how effortlessly you can reinforce your body to reduce inflammation and prevent cancer from taking root. But that's not all. By the end of the video, Dr. Lee will share the correct methods of handling vegetables and important tips. So make sure to watch till the end to find out these healthy secrets. But before we uncover these five vegetables, let's see how cancer and inflammation are related. Chronic inflammation can promote cellular damage, creating an environment conducive to cancer development. Inflammatory cells release various signaling molecules, known as cytokines, which can encourage the proliferation of tumor cells. This chronic inflammatory state can also lead to DNA damage, increasing the likelihood of mutations that drive cancer progression. Consequently, managing inflammation through diet, lifestyle changes, and other interventions may play a significant role in cancer prevention and treatment strategies. However, it is also important to mention that you should always discuss your diet plan with your doctor before making any changes. Now, let's explore the top five healthiest vegetables to kill cancer and reduce inflammation. The first vegetable in our bucket is zucchini flowers. Though delicate and often overlooked, Zucchini flowers are packed with nutrients that can help prevent cancer and reduce inflammation. Uh, there's a natural bioactive called spinosterol that's actually been found in zucchini flowers that actually have been able to prevent the formation of skin tumors uh, when in the lab. So in fact, uh, cut down the incidence of skin tumors by about 65%. Zucchini flowers are rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. Antioxidants can be crucial in preventing cancer as they combat oxidative stress, a process where free radicals in the body damage cells and DNA. Beta-carotene, a potent antioxidant found in zucchini flowers, is converted into vitamin A in the body, promoting healthy cell growth and repair. Studies have shown that diets high in beta-carotene can potentially reduce the risk of several types of cancer, including breast and lung cancer. Another critical nutrient in zucchini flowers is vitamin C. Known for its immune-boosting properties, vitamin C also plays a vital role in helping to prevent cancer by protecting the cells from oxidative damage. This vitamin works synergistically with other antioxidants in zucchini flowers, such as lutein and zeaxanthin, which are known for their potentially cancer-fighting and anti-inflammatory properties. Lutein and zeaxanthin are carotenoids that help protect against cellular damage by filtering harmful blue light and neutralizing free radicals. Research indicates that these carotenoids may reduce the risk of several types of cancers, particularly skin and eye cancers. Other than antioxidants, zucchini flowers also have anti-inflammatory properties, which can be attributed to their high flavonoid content. Flavonoids are plant compounds that have been shown to reduce inflammation in the body by inhibiting the activity of inflammatory enzymes and cytokines. This can be particularly beneficial for individuals suffering from chronic inflammation, a condition that has been linked to the development of cancer, heart disease, and autoimmune disorders. Including zucchini flowers in your diet can help reduce systemic inflammation and support overall health. These blossoms are incredibly versatile. Here is a recipe for bautaid zucchini flowers with garlic and turmeric which is a quick and easy way to reduce systemic inflammation. Take 10 to 12 freshly cleaned zucchini flowers, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two thinly sliced garlic cloves, one half teaspoon of ground turmeric, a pinch of black pepper, salt to taste, and a lemon wedge. To prepare, clean the flowers, 
saute the garlic and turmeric in a skillet over medium heat, then cook the zucchini flowers in the same skillet for two to three minutes until tender. Season with salt to taste. Serve immediately with a squeeze of lemon juice if desired. The next vegetable in our bucket is broccoli. Broccoli is a powerhouse vegetable packed with nutrients that can help prevent cancer and reduce inflammation, making it an essential addition to a health-conscious diet. Now these brassica vegetables contain bioactives called ITCs. This stands for isothiocyanates, isothiocyanates, ITCs. And these are the bioactives that are responsible for the characteristic flavor of brassica vegetables. A little sulfurous, a little sharp, slightly bitter taste. Bitter usually means better for when it comes to your health, right? And that's what brassica vegetables do. So what do ITCs, isothiocyanates, do in the body? Well, they are potent anti-inflammatory bioactives, and they also help to improve your circulation. They improve angiogenesis, that's your body's health defenses, and they can actually improve your immune system as well. One of the key compounds in broccoli is sulforaphane a sulfur-rich antioxidant known for its ability to neutralize harmful toxins and free radicals that can damage cells and lead to cancer. Sulforaphane works by boosting the body's detoxification enzymes, which help clear out potential carcinogens before they cause harm. Another potential cancer-fighting compound in broccoli is indole-3-carbonyl, a phytonutrient that helps regulate hormone metabolism and may inhibit the growth of hormone-sensitive cancers such as breast and prostate cancer. I3C is also known to enhance DNA repair, further reducing the risk of mutations that could lead to cancer. Broccoli is also high in fiber, which plays a crucial role in digestive health by promoting regular bowel movements and helping to flush out toxins. Diets rich in fiber have been linked to potentially reducing the risk of colorectal cancer. When it comes to inflammation, Broccoli offers a variety of anti-inflammatory benefits. One of its standout anti-inflammatory compounds is chiamphorol, a flavonoid that has been shown to reduce markers of inflammation in the body. Another important compound is omega-3 fatty acids, which are present in small amounts in broccoli and help to reduce inflammation at the cellular level. Broccoli also contains glucosinolates, natural compounds that, when broken down, form bioactive compounds like sulforaphane and indole-3-carbonyl. These compounds activate certain detoxification pathways in the body, which play a role in eliminating toxins that could lead to inflammation and cancer. Do you know the healthy way to cook these green vegetables? Well, cook them just until their color becomes brighter than when they were raw. Use steamed, roasted, or raw in salads. Here's a simple way to make broccoli a delicious part of your daily routine. Heat the olive oil in a pan over medium heat. Add the minced garlic and saute for about a minute until fragrant. Add the broccoli florets and stir fry for about five to seven minutes until they are tender but still crisp. Squeeze the lemon juice over the broccoli and season with salt and pepper. Serve warm as a side dish or mix into a grain bowl for a nutrient-packed meal. Before we jump to the next vegetable, subscribe to the QuickTime newsletter for exclusive health tips, simple recipes, and the latest research on using food as medicine, delivered straight to your inbox every week. Don't miss out on the easy steps to live longer and healthier. Moving towards our next vegetable, green beans. So what are some of the ones that have been discovered in green beans? Camphorol, quercetin, myricetin, pro procyanidins, there's a lot. All right, little lowly green bean is packed with power when it comes to polyphenols. Now, almost all these polyphenols are anti-inflammatory. So eating green beans is a great way to lower inflammation in your body. And these bioactives also activate your body's health defense system. They kind of uh, raise your shields. Now, green beans also have antioxidant properties that have been shown to protect your stem cells. Green beans are rich in antioxidants, specifically, Green beans contain carotenoids, flavonoids, and vitamin C, which are known for their cancer-fighting properties. Secondly, green beans are a good source of fiber, which can play a key role in cancer prevention, particularly colorectal cancer. Dietary fiber promotes healthy digestion and helps in the removal of toxins from the body, ensuring that harmful substances don't linger in the intestines. Studies have shown that people who consume high-fiber diets may have a significantly lower risk of developing colorectal cancer. 
Other than gut health, inflammation is a natural response by the body to injury or infection. But chronic inflammation can lead to various health issues, including cancer, heart disease, and arthritis. Green beans offer anti-inflammatory benefits thanks to their rich content of phytonutrients and omega-3 fatty acids. These compounds work together to reduce the inflammatory markers in the body, which can help lower the risk of chronic diseases. One standout compound in green beans is quercetin, a potent antioxidant with proven anti-inflammatory properties. Quercetin inhibits the production of inflammatory cytokines and helps in reducing inflammation at the cellular level. Another beneficial nutrient in green beans is vitamin C, which not only boosts immunity but also helps in controlling inflammation by neutralizing free radicals that contribute to inflammatory processes. Green beans owe their health benefits to a combination of vital nutrients and plant compounds. Including green beans in your diet is a simple and effective way to harness their cancer-fighting and anti-inflammatory powers. But how can you enjoy them quickly and effortlessly? Heat the olive oil in a large pan over medium heat. Add the minced garlic and saute for about one minute until fragrant. Toss in the green beans and stir fry for five to seven minutes until they become slightly tender but still crisp. Add soy sauce and black pepper for extra flavor, then sprinkle with sesame seeds. Serve immediately as a side dish or a healthy snack. Our next vegetable, tomatoes, is more than just a kitchen staple. Packed with antioxidants, Tomatoes are rich in lycopene, a compound that gives them their vibrant red color. Lycopene plays a crucial role in neutralizing free radicals in the body. Studies suggest that lycopene helps lower the risk of several cancers, including prostate, lung, and stomach cancers. This potent antioxidant's protective effects extend to reducing DNA damage, which can be a precursor to the formation of cancerous cells. And lycopene does a lot of different things that are beneficial for the body. One of them is that lycopene protects our DNA against damage from uh, oxidative stress, including ultraviolet radiation, like sun damage. That's right, eating tomatoes with the lycopene can protect us against uh, damage from the sun. That means kind of like sunscreen, but from the inside out. So sun exposure can damage your DNA. Lycopene protects your DNA against the sun damage. And you can actually eat tomatoes in order to be able to protect yourself and protect you from the inside out from some damage coming from the outside. But lycopene isn't the only compound in tomatoes that fights cancer. Tomatoes are also a good source of vitamins C and E, both of which are antioxidants that enhance the body's immune response. Vitamin C boosts collagen production, aiding tissue repair, while also scavenging harmful free radicals. Together, these vitamins work in synergy with lycopene, fortifying the body's natural defenses against cancer. Another way tomatoes can help prevent cancer is by reducing chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation has been linked to the development of various cancers and other diseases. Tomatoes contain a number of anti-inflammatory compounds, including carotenoids like beta-carotene and flavonoids such as quercetin. These compounds work to reduce inflammation by inhibiting the production of inflammatory molecules in the body. The anti-inflammatory benefits of tomatoes also come from their high water content, which helps hydrate the body and flush out toxins that can contribute to inflammation. This is especially beneficial for individuals suffering from conditions like arthritis or cardiovascular disease, where inflammation plays a major role in worsening symptoms. When it comes to incorporating tomatoes into your diet, Cooking them can potentially boost their cancer-fighting properties. Lycopene becomes more bioavailable when tomatoes are heated, meaning your body can absorb and utilize this antioxidant more effectively. Start by slicing the tomatoes and placing them on a plate. Tear the basil leaves and sprinkle them over the tomatoes. Drizzle olive oil and balsamic vinegar over the top. Add a pinch of salt and pepper to taste. This light and refreshing salad is not only packed with flavor, but also loaded with anti-inflammatory and cancer-fighting potential. We have finally reached the last vegetable on our bucket list, which is carrots. But guess what? Carrots are really, really delicious, and they also have a lot of dietary fiber and carotenoids. Not surprisingly, the name carotenoids, carrot, they're similar. These carotenoids get into your body and they help feed your gut microbiome along with the dietary fiber. Dietary fiber and carotenoids lower inflammation, all right? 
um, and they boost immunity to help protect you against infection. And the carotenoids are also powerful antioxidant properties that can protect your DNA from damage coming from the environment. Carrots are packed with nutrients that can help prevent cancer and reduce inflammation. Rich in beta carotene, an antioxidant that gives carrots their orange hue, this vegetable has been extensively studied for its health benefits, particularly in combating chronic diseases. Beta carotene gets converted into vitamin A in the body, which is essential for immune function and helps the body fend off inflammation. Moreover, the potent antioxidant properties of beta carotene neutralize harmful free radicals. A key way that carrots may contribute to cancer prevention is through the compound falcarinol. Falcarinol is a natural pesticide found in carrots that has shown the potential to reduce the risk of cancer development. Studies suggest that falcarinol can inhibit the growth of precancerous cells and may even reduce the risk of colon cancer. Additionally, carrots are high in fiber, which supports digestive health and may be linked to a lower risk of colorectal cancer. Fiber helps to flush out toxins from the body, reducing the buildup of harmful substances in the colon. Another cancer-fighting component found in carrots is carotenoids. These plant pigments are responsible for the vegetable's color and can help reduce the risk of several types of cancer, including breast, lung, and prostate cancer. Inflammation is another area where carrots can make a significant impact. Carrots are high in vitamin C and vitamin E, two key vitamins that work together to reduce inflammation by neutralizing free radicals and supporting the body's immune response. Vitamin C in particular has been shown to reduce inflammatory markers in the blood, while vitamin E works to protect cells from oxidative damage. These vitamins, along with the fiber content in carrots, help to regulate the body's inflammatory response, lowering the risk of chronic inflammatory conditions. Let's try a quick lemon carrot salad. Grate the carrots and place them in a large bowl. In a small bowl, whisk together the lemon juice, olive oil, honey, salt, and pepper. Pour the dressing over the carrots and toss well to coat. Garnish with fresh parsley and serve chilled. Incorporating these healthy greens in your diet may help your body fight diseases like cancer with a strong posture. But remember, moderation is the key to a healthy and balanced life. Before we expose Dr. William Lee's vegetable handling tips, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by dropping your comments in the comment section. Emphasizing to enhance the nutritious value of green vegetables, Dr. William Lee suggests some good tips in his talks. Do not overcook green vegetables. It is better to eat them raw. Overcooking can reduce the nutritional value of these vegetables. Try to eat all parts of these vegetables as most of the nutrients are often in the discarded part. Always buy fresh and organic vegetables and avoid canned veggies. Naturally grown vegetables are free from chemicals and diseases. Now, if you are interested in learning more about vegetables with cancer-fighting properties, check out this next video.